What's good, everybody? Man, welcome to another episode of Talking Sports with Manny. And on this episode, we're going to talk Mar March Madness. March Madness, man. Uh, there's been a lot of madness going on in March. Uh, a lot of upsets, man. We're going to get into it. But I'm going to share my uh, bracket. Look, I'm not going to lie. This season, I did not really watch college basketball. I wasn't really interested in college basketball this year. It's just different without the fans. So I'm going to share my bracket. We're going to talk about some of these games. Um, but also, I want to talk a little bit about the NBA before we get started. Uh, LeBron James, man, he's out. He's out for at least three to four weeks. Uh, the Lakers don't look good right now. Anthony Davis is gone. He's probably gone for another two to three weeks as well. So the team is really going to try to find ways uh, to win and ways to score. Defense is going to be there. Vogel's going to do his thing. But at the same time, you need uh, some reinforcement. So we'll see what happens. Uh, during a during a trade deadline, I know Lonzo Ball was on the move, John Collins, uh, Marcus Smart. Those are names that you're going to continue to hear from Woj and Shams about where these guys can possibly go. So we're going to see what happens. And then, then the buyout market. If Andre Drummond does not get traded, the favorites to land him is the New, the I almost said New Jersey Nets, but the Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Lakers. So we're going to see what happens there. I'm um, looking at my news right now. Let me see. Oh man, breaking news. Lakers Elgin Baylor has passed away from natural causes at age of uh, 86. Rest in peace, Elgin Baylor, one of the uh, greatest to ever do this. Uh, that just came in right now. Um, but um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into uh, the NCAA. Let me share my bracket real quick. Now, mind you guys that, like I said, I did not really watch a lot of college this season, but that's kind of like the best way to do this sometimes you know you gotta really just kind of go with the flow so um <laughs> let's take a look at my bracket all right gonzaga versus norfolk state uh, of course i chose gonzaga they came out victorious uh oklahoma and missouri chose oklahoma they won uh creighton versus ucsb uh i took who did i take i think i got that one wrong no, Creighton won. Yeah, Creighton won. I got that one right. Then the next one, Virginia and Ohio. Look, these, <laughs> these double-digit seeds, man. So that's the first upset that happened. Ohio won. They beat Virginia. Look, I've come to the point to where I can't even take Virginia in the first round anymore. I will never do it again. Uh, I think it was either last year or a couple years ago, they lost to the number 16th seed, I believe. So, yeah, Virginia, man, there's something wrong with this squad, man. Um, they look good to decent even great in the regular season and they just always get bounced in the first and second round of these tournaments most uh recently um we look at the next matchup usc versus drake um i chose usc they won that game uh then kansas versus uh east washington i chose kansas they won so i'm looking good right there that usc versus kansas matchup you got the gonzaga versus oklahoma matchup got Creighton versus Ohio, then uh, Oregon versus VCU. Usually I pick VCU because they've done so well in the tournament. So like I said, I didn't watch. I'm just kind of just picking guys. Uh, so Oregon won that game. Um, then uh, the matchup between Iowa and Grand Canyon. The only guy I know in Iowa is Garza. Garza's a beast, so I chose Iowa in that matchup. So Iowa plays. Oregon. Um, and I think Oregon won. Yeah, Oregon won that game. But we're going to continue with the first round. First round. All right. So Baylor versus Hartford. I chose Baylor. I mean, that's a no brainer. Uh, North Carolina versus Wisconsin. I should have chose Wisconsin, but you know, the legendary North Carolina. I should have known with North Carolina being ranked number eight that they were totally trashed this season. Should have known that. But you know, sometimes these guys that pick the brackets don't really do guys favors. Uh, so Villanova versus Winthrop. Of course, I chose Villanova. They won. Uh, Purdue versus North Texas, man. Shout out to North Texas. That's another upset right there. Another upset alert. Number 13, North 
uh, Texas winning that matchup right there. So they advance to play Villanova in the second round. Uh, Texas Tech versus Utah State. Um, of course, I chose Texas Tech, man. Um, and, I, yeah, they won. Texas Tech won that game. Uh, then the next matchup is Arkansas versus Colgate. I chose Arkansas. Arkansas has looked good this season, even though I haven't watched. I've seen them in the SEC tournament for a little bit. So I've just seen them as a team that, you know, can possibly do something. So I chose them. They're scrappy. Uh, they won. Then the next matchup, Florida versus uh, Virginia Tech. I chose Virginia Tech because I was a big Virginia Tech uh, fan growing up when they had Vic and Tyrod Taylor and all those guys. So I chose Virginia Tech. I should have chose Florida, but. Uh, Florida won that matchup. Uh, crazy, crazy game for those who watched it. Then Oral Roberts versus Ohio State. The Ohio State, as they would say. Oral Roberts, man, number 15 seed, upset alert, beating Ohio, and getting to face uh, Florida in the second round. We move on to the rest of my first round matchups. I chose Illinois, won there. I, look, I went with Lo Loyola, Chicago because in the first round because, I mean, you know, Sister Jean and the rest of these guys, you know, I just had to. I just had to. I'm kind of going off of past history. And sometimes when you do that, you get lucky like I did. So, look, shout out to Loyola Chicago on beating uh, Georgia Tech. Um, even though it wasn't really an upset, it was an upset. Uh, next matchup was Tennessee versus Oregon State. We're going to get to Tennessee in a minute. I chose Tennessee to win. That was an epic fail. Oregon State goes on to win that game. Um, Oklahoma State versus Liberty. Oklahoma State won. I got that one right. Uh, Syracuse versus uh, San Diego State. I chose Syracuse. I mean, it's the orange, man. You just got to go with the orange sometimes. And that's what I did. And that paid off for me. Um, so they advanced to second round. West Virginia versus Moorhead State. I chose Moorhead State because going to Tennessee State University and Austin P. those are two schools that are in the OVC. So I had to represent the OVC by going with uh, Moorhead State. And they lost. West Virginia won that one. Clemson was able to uh, – Clemson lost to Rutgers. I have some friends that are Rutgers fans. They were excited. One of the guys was actually at the game. I think the game was probably in Memphis, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Um, Houston versus Cleveland State. Houston won that game. Wife is from Houston, so shout out to Houston. Um, Michigan, man. Michigan is a team that I got going really, really, really far. Michigan won that game. Uh, LSU came out on top, got that one. Uh, Colorado. Uh, beat down George uh, Georgetown. I had to go with Georgetown, being from the, from the DMV, and uh, you know they let me down. They let me down. They got Molly Wops ninety six to thirty to uh, seventy three. Uh, so Colorado gets to advance. I chose Florida State versus NC Greenboro. You gotta be careful with these uh, double digit seeds because a lot of these guys win. Um, I chose UCLA to beat down uh, to beat not beat down, but to beat BYU when that happened. Um, Texas versus Albaline Christian, man. Look, y'all got to go catch the video of the Albaline Christian coach dancing. That was the funniest thing that I've seen. That reminds me of a guy that I work with named Oupele Bamson. Man, they dance the same. So you got to go catch that. You got to go catch that. If you catch that, then you then, then you see my guy Bamson. All right. So um, Maryland versus UConn. Maryland won that game. Of course, I chose Maryland. You know, being from the DMV, I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm a big Terp fan. Back in the days of uh, Juan Dixon and Lonnie Baxter and all those guys, Chris McCray, they had a whole squad for that for that span where now Gary Gary Williams was there. Really enjoyed that team. So, uh, but ever since Maryland left the ACC, they've just never been the same. Uh, they they have been carrying the Big Ten. It's been Rutgers and Maryland carrying the Big Ten. So shout out to Maryland on a big win. Uh, they play Alabama, who beat down I, um, Iona. So moving on to the second round. I'm going to go real quick with this. So moving on to the second round, got Gonzaga versus Oklahoma, right? I got Gonzaga winning that game. Uh, you got uh, Creighton versus Ohio. Um, I mean, obviously, I chose Virginia to win two games, and they're out. So I would love to see Ohio win and continue dancing into the Sweet 16. Um, you got. USC versus Kansas. Um, I have Kansas winning, and I'll probably keep it that way. Uh, uh, Oregon versus uh, Iowa. Man, Garza lost, man. He lost, so he didn't even get to the uh, Sweet 16. Shout out to Oregon for making it there. Um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I definitely didn't get that one right. Michigan versus LSU. I got Michigan winning that game. Uh, Colorado versus Florida State. 
Um, Colorado's hot right now. I give it to Colorado. Um, UCLA versus Abilene Christian. Of course, I'm going for every single double-digit uh, seeded team. But for this case, 14 versus 11, two, two teams that have fought hard to get to this point. Abilene Christian, hope you guys win this game. But even though I got UCLA, at this point, my, my brackets are busted anyways. Maryland Terps versus Alabama. Of course, I want Maryland to win. But realistically, I think Alabama's going to win. They have been a better team. They've been a good team this season. Um, Houston versus Rutgers, man. I got Houston winning. Uh, Syracuse versus uh, West Virginia. I got Syracuse winning. Oh, Syracuse won the game. Man, I forgot. These results are from yesterday. So Syracuse won the game, um, and I, I got that correct. I got Houston and Syracuse correct in my Sweet 16. Um, Loyola versus um, Illinois. I had Illinois winning, of course. So Lo Lo Loyola versus Oregon State. That's going to be crazy. There's going to be some crazy teams getting to the uh, – getting to the uh, – Elite eight, man. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Oral Roberts versus Florida. Um, Oral Roberts won yet another game to advance to the Sweet 16 to play Arkansas. And, hey, go Oral Roberts, man. I'm pulling for you guys. Texas Tech versus um, Arkansas. Arkansas won that game. They get to advance. Uh, Villanova, Villanova versus North Texas. Villanova won. Uh, the run for North Texas comes to an end. They played very, very well. Comes to an end. So Villanova versus uh, Baylor. I'll be back later on to talk about the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight. This is the episode, guys. Appreciate you guys. Be sure to follow me on TS with Manny. Um, I love y'all. We out.